Hi everyone, hope you're really well. Coming in today with the Lost Beanbag Review. This actual board is 6023 wide, two and three quarters, and running 45 liters, so it's a bit of a beast. Uh, this is Lost Mega Groveler board. Uh, you see a lot of boards around that they call grovelers, but uh, you know, I, I think for the for the average guy in poor waves, a lot of the boards that are classed as grovel boards still need actually a bit of a wave to get them going. Uh, for me, a grovel board should be a board that paddles great, rides good in really sloppy waves, is heaps of fun and generates a lot of its own speed, and this really epitomizes that. So lost have not been scared to make these super wide at 23 this is this is longboard width basically this is the width of my bigger longboards so that i think that's really good it gives a massive surface area the nose and tail are uh, nice and wide as well and uh, really this board's all about surface area it's all about surface area for playing in long waves basically uh so yeah and the rocker is pretty flat as you can see it's got a little bit of kick at either end and uh, yeah just makes it a super fun super easy paddler uh, no word of a lie I'll actually split the peak with some uh, with long boards sometimes because it's just you know if you're in the right spot you can you can just really easy paddle into this and it's just heaps of fun hey? so diving into the concaves of the bean bag as you can see we've got the V starting quite early in the board this is all the way down where your front foot's going to be and then as we come back that V gets more and more pronounced and uh, as we know because the string is here and the rails lower this is why we're getting this rock so this is this is V and uh, as you can see because there's also a, a curvature in in that panel you know that you've got a double concave so each side each side of the stringer there's actually a concave inside that V so as you can see as you're getting off the tail there's all this there's all this rock so basically this just means that the stringer line rocker is staying relatively straight and it's allowing the uh, it's allowing the it's allowing the real rocker to accelerate as it comes towards the end so if you imagine this staying quite straight and then the rails going away as it comes down towards the end so that that allows you to rock from side to side very easily because there's nothing resisting it it's already it's already turned into its angle there so that's the concaves so for my fin recommendations for this board big is good uh, I started off with the split keel here uh, that's usually my go-to fin for most gravel boards because it's uh, it's quite got the good surface area it's got lots of drive it's got lots of hold but having the slightly more upright rear fin actually still turns okay so that usually works in all my boards and actually works quite good in the beanbag as well with mine being such a big beanbag what i was finding sometimes is i was just looking for a little bit more drive so uh i actually had to go with a twin fin with this same trailer so this is like the almerix twin and uh there's the trailer fin and that was really good and really drivey but a little bit too much uh, so i actually swapped that out and then i went for a slightly smaller rear fin which actually ended up being a small carver and that was feeling really good but i still just wanted a bit more looseness but i didn't want to lose too much drive so i actually took a risk on getting a second set of fins and what i've actually been running since is i've been running the am twin fins with two trailers so as you can see with these twins they're very it's still quite tall and it's set very far back in the box so it's basically giving a lot of control without adding too much drag and then these fins are big base and quite upright so they're easy to turn and pivot so uh that's actually worked really well for me so yeah two two almerix twins and two trailers has been uh has been my go-to i've also tried it with a keel fin which works i'll use the i've used the uh the fcs modern keel that's quite good but again probably could have used a tiny bit more drive which is pretty crazy because they're quite big twins and then these uh these chipper wilson fins are also super drivey so uh if you wanted like really crazy drive here i've actually gone with the chipper wilson's with two of those trailers which is actually the so the the fin itself is a collaboration between chipper wilson and neil purchase jr and you can actually get 
this is usually a twin with one stabilizer. If you get the fin set that's called the quartet, it's basically those two same twins with two tra trailers. So if you want to absolutely turbo the board, it will go nuts with those. But uh, say this was the one for me. This is the, the balance of speed and turn is absolutely perfect. So yep, yeah, that's my fin recommendations. Again, you can go down quite a lot in size if you're uh, if you're in a smaller board and you're a smaller guy, you know, you might find you only need maybe like a set of the large stretch quads or something. Uh, but for me, yeah, big fin. So that's that. So yeah, in summary, the Lost Beanbag, heaps of fun, masses of surface area, huge volume, great paddler, uh, turns really well, generates its own speed really well. It's just a stand up and go board. Those days when you don't really want to be on your longboard and you just want to have a bit of fun. Uh, you know, that's basically the board to go to. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you could like and subscribe, that would be fantastic. And we'll see you soon for some more board reviews.